before running through this desktop setup, I just wanted to mention that there is a blog post at learncreategame.com slash techart slash Houdini Technical Desktop where you can check out images of the step-by-steps. So this is the way that Houdini looks when you first start the application. What I like to do for general tool building is I switch to the technical desktop and I minimize this outliner uh, guy. These kind of nice to hang, have hanging around. And then I close out the text board and render scheduler. And I also close out all the tabs on this like floating window on top. I like having a single one with a couple of really important uh, things. Actually, we might as well add those in now. I add in the um, the geometry spreadsheet, super important, and I also like to have the performance monitored up so you can test, you can check for uh, memory consumption and speed of evaluation of your nodes and setups. Also minimize the time slider, so I don't use that very often. And then I like to have the parameter view pane here in like a full, so I just close everything out so it becomes a single large parameter pane. And I also close out the motion effects view, render view and animation editor here. And I like to have the, um, the network uh, editor here as a single, I put that on my secondary monitor and I maximize it. I also add a Python panel um, here for custom tool UI. So you can just kind of choose your the one that you use kind of the most, and then you can save the desktop to make that the default for the desktop. Uh, and this is a really good kind of uh, starting point. I'm sure the desktop is gonna change over time as I'm learning more about Houdini and the way I like to work, but this is a really good starting point for general tool building. So once we're happy with that, we just go in and save current desktop, and that creates this file. So if you want to reset this, you just go into your preferences, Houdini desktop and blow away that file and restart Houdini and you're back with the factory desktop uh, for technical again. But next time you launch, it will be exactly as this, as you left it. So it's a great starting point for tool building. And please drop a comment below if you feel like there's something that I really should include in this setup and that's something you particularly love in your setup. And uh, check back for some more tech art uh, and Houdini tutorials.